Hello, I just got done watching your video and I just wanted to leave you a video blog because I just, I know exactly where you're at and you could have been me. I mean, I could have been you in this video talking because I've been where you are so many times and it's just such a hard struggle. And I, like you, I became a victim of the scale too. I called it compulsive over weighing because I would weigh in the morning, I would weigh at night, I'd weigh before I peed, I'd weigh before I poop, I'd weigh after and I just would weigh after I eat, before I eat, I just became compulsive with it and then it would just drag me down so much. So one day I took the scale and I threw it out the door and it hit the cement and my daughter's like, no, my scale. She started crying and she ran out and got it and brought it in and then it, it was sprung and it only weighed you like zero pounds but she didn't care. She was just a little girl, little baby girl then. And so then later I got another scale and I, it was weighing me a certain weight and then I went to the doctor like you and it weighed me lighter and I was so upset I told my daughter I said okay that's it she was about seven now and I said come on we took our scale we got in the truck we put our scale in between us we got to the river and I, we looked around to make sure nobody was looking and then we took it out and we held it one two three and we heaved it and then she went that's the end of our troubles and I've never owned a scale since I go down to the local laundromat they have a coin scale down there and I weigh myself every Monday her and I both weigh ourselves she's not really on a diet but she's trying to watch her weight a little bit so she weighs too but get rid of the scale if you don't want to get rid of it put it in your trunk so it's not so easy to get to because that'll just eat you alive and so big deal so you're a few more pounds at the doctor that's okay you're working on it that's the main thing just keep plugging away plugging away plugging away and we're gonna do this thing I have got to do it because I am hurting my joints hurt you know and I'm tired and I have no energy and I do now because now I've been on it a month but I've only lost 13 pounds which to me seems like not very much because normally I would lose more than that the first month but hey it's 13 pounds that I have lost I look at it like this. Have you ever picked up a 10 pound bag of potatoes? It's pretty heavy. So if you're like 20 pounds, next time you go in the store, pick up a 20 bag pound of potatoes or 10 and you'll see how much you really have lost. So I know you're going to do it. I know you are and I'm going to do it and we're going to do it so we feel good. And so when we go in a store and we see something we like, we can try it on and it's going to fit. And we're not just buying it. I hate buying clothes just because they fit and that's the way I always have to do. I love going to thrift stores and stuff and I, I'm just like I go in there and I, I'll get something and bring it home I'll think oh this is big and then I put it on it doesn't even fit it's tight and now that's kinda that's kinda scary so anyway I just wanted to encourage you and I just wanted to tell you to hang in there and you're gonna do it one thing I love about low carb you were mentioning in one of your responses to me that you might get your book out one thing I love about it is it it builds in your willpower because as you eat protein you don't crave sweets I try to stay completely away from sweets like even low carb sweets because if I eat low carb sweets it makes me want more sweets like that and your husband he probably made the cake because he hasn't been having cakes lately and he was just like ooh I want a cake mm, he's probably like dying for one and so will have those temptations but I can't believe how strong I've been when I've been on high protein low carb with veggies and stuff I've just had strength like you wouldn't believe I just I have no desire to go off I just because I know that nothing tastes as good as being thin is gonna feel nothing is worth that so that's the point we gotta get at nothing is worth that bite of cake nothing is worth that when it comes to our health and the way we feel and the way we look and the way we can keep up with our kids and just a joy for living that we're gonna have when we lose this bulk you know one of the things that I hate most about being heavy when I walk down an aisle somewhere or where there's a big crowd of people and they part so I can get through I mean they look at me like a semis coming down the road and they gotta get out of my way that is the thing I hate most and when I lost weight before 
I saw that leave. I didn't see everybody like parting the way to make me through like the Red Sea, you know. So that's one of the things that I can't wait till I lose the weight because I hate that feeling. I just hate it. And I'm I'm just not happy with my body either. I can't stand my body. I can't stand to be with my boyfriend in an intimate way sometimes because I'm so overcome with uh, just vulgarity at looking at myself in the mirror. But I'm seeing a little bit come off. And when I stand in the mirror and look at myself, I can see a little tiny bit. And so I'm really excited. I, I, I wrote, uh, read this poem in my first blog, but I'm going to write it to you. I mean, I'm going to read it to you because I wrote this a long time ago. And it's called Fat Like Me, and it's where I got my name. I don't know if you saw it. What does it feel like to be fat like me? My weight ballooning to 293. Clothes don't fit, nothing looks right. It seems for my fat there's no end in sight. I try to diet only to fail time after time after time. Two pounds down, two up again. It seems with this diet game I just can't win. Always the cr fattest in crowds of people. Looking at pictures, unbelieving that it's me. Why can't I do it? Why is it so hard? The diet food tastes so good and I feel so charged. But it seems that I'm stuck in this race that I'm in, hoping and praying to this race I will win. I have a new daughter and, an, and a fine son too. I want to be there in all that they do. But I feel like death is close to me now. If I don't stop eating some way, somehow. My body is tired. My looks, they are gone. My energy's waning. I weigh a ton. My self-esteem's lower than it's ever been. I'm stuck in this pattern, this pattern I'm in. Today's a new day. I'll try, try again. I pray today is the day I will win. Please, God, help me. This is my plea. I hate feeling this feeling of fat like me. So you know what? Tomorrow is a new day. And the next day is a new day. And the next day is a new day. And we just have to go day to day and live it and learn it and live and learn and as we do that we're gonna grow and we're gonna get thinner so I just my blessings go out to you and I I'm just hoping and and I'm just pulling for you and I hope you're pulling for me as well and we're gonna do this thing let's do it let's do it girl see ya